Hello, good morning, and welcome to Wadi Tills. This week, an 11 year old 2006 Audi RS4 with 100,000 miles on the clock receives the white detail. Jesus Christ. Yeah, hold that. I'll show you how a real man does it. Stand on it. I've just hurt my elbow with the last one. It, it went, it just caught me. You don't want to be- Everything about this car, just- It's gonna be what, It's gonna be one of those cars, I think, yeah. Rings like- Just watch your back, Jim. It's not long enough, is it? You obviously took the slack off that for me. Yeah, I, I've, I've loosened them. Yeah. yeah. Jarred my teeth there. <laughs> yeah, did that's my cool elbow. Way. That's that's ratchets for you. That's it. the wrong use of ratchets. Imagine if you'd bro <sighs> broken down at, outside on the way home from somewhere, trying to get those off. You wouldn't, would you? You couldn't do it. Slight hold up on the wash proceedings on the Audi. The little Kranzel's gone pop. Doing the door shuts and the pressure valve, the adjustable pressure valve's gone pop. So we've picked up this loan unit to finish the job. The car, I have to be honest, and I've said to the owner, has seen better days. It's a tough one. It's really quite far gone. And there's only so much people can do, detailers can do without the need of additional paint uh, or refurbishments of various sections to get it back. So with that in mind, 80%, 90% is where we're driving for. Take you around a few bits now. Whole car apart from the roof has been painted and it isn't pretty. There's a lot going on here once the bid lights are killed and the swirls are tackled. There are the deeper scratches, there are buffer marks, there are sending marks. There's a blister there on the bottom of the near side dog leg on the wing. That's going to have to be an area to avoid. The car has been a victim of the hand car wash. That's where it's been going. And to be honest, my owner's only had the car uh, four or five months or so, so it's not a long-term thing for them. Car's coming from Durham. It's come a long way. It was a bit of a last-minute put it in the diary. 
a cancellation slot actually and obviously not seen the car beforehand the owner is very new to the idea of detailing so sort of not sure what's possible and took the opportunity to take the cancellation slot and do what we can so here we are don't know if that's showing on camera or not anyway that's had the edge burnt off via polishing much the same as this panel I mean what on earth is that someone I think it's machine polished this which is a satin plastic it doesn't need machine polishing you can't machine polish it and then they've done all this damage at the top Good morning, so it's Tuesday mid-morning and the RS4 work in progress. I think the last thing you saw would have been, uh, other than this morning's footage so far, the last thing was the complaint about the pressure washer going pop. Lots going on yesterday, lots of sort of troubles and bits to sort of navigate and work around and I just put the camera to one side, I wasn't in the place to film. Uh, half the roof and half the bonnet were cut, the bonnet is almost finished, the roof is halfway through terrors in the back end of the tailgate. We're going to debadge the RS4 and the rings here on the back end. You can see the haze and the defects in between the letters and then actually the grub and the dirt behind the letters. So in between the four there, behind the S and around the R. And the Audi rings on top here, look, someone's uh, once upon a time these perhaps were chrome and they've been wrapped around or made black. But new rings and new RS4 badge ordered in to replace these units but also to allow the correction to be done as one uh, so whip these off and then i'll tackle the roof on the roof line. Combination of the tools being used, 15, 21, 3, Kamikaze, Mike Guayas, Kamikaze, the Guayas 101. Back portion here is the before condition. Need to go across Uno Memento. So hard to capture defects on camera because it's sort of glare. You can see them, they're there. As we go into the middle. Taking some real heavy chop in this. See the damage. Some deep stuff thrown in the mix here. And here on the very edge, can you see there's a... The whistling helps to identify what I'm trying to get you to look at. There. Do, do, do. When this has been polished, mopped, something's overlapped and left some pretty deep scores on the roof line. The roof is the only thing that's original paint. This is original paint, everything else has been painted. In this panel gap down here on the roof line, there is a blend mark in there, so it's an area to be careful of. 
Do 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 one two three Literally, literally held in place with fresh air. Outside front door cutting quite nice. A mass, a sea of haze of swirls. There's no wonder the clarity is lost. The color and the depth is hidden beneath this. So it's just a gray haze over the surface. As we go across, that's had just the one cut. Incredible combination. It still needs the three inch work here. It's had the three inch work at the top. It still needs it down the side and above the bump strip before the bump strip and by the bump strip. But that is a nice finish after just one cut and pass with kamikaze wall buff pad and Maguire's 101 who's that snapchat me Lisa Cayman S good morning Lisa
Maguire's one inch my father kitchen pad, two inch my father kitchen pad. Uh, for these intricate areas around the handle. Uh, the handle recess itself will be done by hand. Don't forget if you didn't see on the Instagram post during this week, whenever you're watching this, there is between now 25th of September and 31st of October. 12% discount available for a pristine detail for the custom size Meguiar's cutting pads. The My Father cutting pads. The 1 inch, the 2 inch and the 3 inch units can be bought with the discount code JWDP. JWDP on pristine detail for 12% discount to UK mainland sales only. All information can be found down below in the video description. Top of the door handle after two microfiber cutting sets and a yellow Rupes polishing set. This is now ready for some final refinements. A couple of marks there, tiny little marks. On a whole big improvement. The handle to sort now, so reverse the tape and tape this, polish this. And then some extra work needed here. It's a bit bitty, a bit marred still, and a couple of deeper marks there to chase out. Sometime later, we're above the bump strip now cut and below the bump strip cut down this bit he's doing still, the very bottom of the door. It now leaves the bump strip itself. So reverse the tape, tape here, tape there, remove the abrasions from here. Before we go on, start all over again this door. Slowly progressing down this side, still have still have the sills to tackle. Look at all the abrasions and bash marks, and not looking forward to that. Saving that for a fresh head tomorrow. On the wing, this inch on the arch edge. It's difficult to get this nice without the hybrid. I mean, you can use the three inch, but you've got lots of potential danger on this edge and the edge here. So using the one inch and the hybrid allows that haze to be reduced down to not a lot. These bits of mar in here, this needs polishing before it needs refining. So this is very much work in progress. Then it's up onto the top, the petrofiller cap needs doing. Around the petrofiller cap is being cut. 
the hybrid work around the handle, hybrid work over the top, avoiding the window trim. It's just such a shame this car is coming up great, it's coming up well, it's going to be a splendid turnaround in a different vehicle. It's just a shame that our areas like this paint missing, that our areas like the trim, it's all tarnished here, that our areas like this, that our areas like this and this, and only do what we've been given. Struggling on through. Uh, call it there anyway. Today is Wednesday, back in tomorrow, which is Thursday. Good morning, Thursday. Wheels up next, ready for some coatings to be prepped and coated. Bit of corrosion going on here. Polish is still progressing on the circles. Terry's been underneath and polished the boxes, exhaust trims. And then I'm on the driver's side, side skirt. Obviously this door being the worst, I call this mess. 100,000 miles of shoes and boots whacking the sill as we go down. This has been, this has been cut twice and very much improved on the back end. But obviously this is a door that isn't as used as frequently as the driver's door. So once that comes across, we start to see how bad it actually gets. If I can get 50%, 60% improvements here, some of that's really deep stuff, it's never going to polish out anyway. But improvements have to be made. Coming up pretty well, this sill. Good. Surprisingly well, actually. To be honest, the sill came up much better than expected. Really pleased with that. If that can be replicated on the passenger side, which in theory shouldn't be as bad as the driver's side. This is the area. Two marks there. But on a hole, look at that. Underneath, <sighs> peppered stone chips, road rash from the front wheel. Very pleased. Just got this lot to tackle now. I know that you're lots of fun, open up your mind, watch out, here I come. Quarter past nine, Thursday night, I've just spent about two hours with a cocktail stick and a touch up. And going around the Audi, mostly in the front end, leading edge of the bonnet, up end on the roof, 
Yes, it would have been easier for certain panels to be resprayed to eliminate stone chips, etc. But for the time being, as a temporary fix, a touch up has been applied. Tomorrow, full paint protection to be applied, as well as interior glass, engine bay finalized, that polish inside the door shuts, that sort of stuff. Wheels have been coated today inside and out with Gion rim, as well as the exhaust box and tip. New badges on the back end. Piecing together nicely. Ooh, let me turn around. Pretty hungry now. See you in the morning. Friday, last day today, uh, Sapphire Black BMW M2 is traveling currently. As we speak, it's 10 past 11, M2 coming in from South Wales next week's new car prep. Copper slip going on the wheel bolts. The wheel bolts were very much seized on the removal process on Monday. And also, there was no locking nut. So, we've sourced and supplied new locking nuts. In this bag, we should have Yay. Little caps, alley caps to go over the bolts to finish them off because if you look, they are quite orange and unsightly, especially now this is a bright silver. So these, once these are torqued up, get covered up. Hopefully it's come with a tool. I hadn't thought about that, you know, the, the cap removal tool. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, is it in the kit? Yeah. Oh yeah. Comes with a little locking key. That... Splendid. Torqued up, capped up. Sorted. Any second, the time is ooh, one o'clock. The vlog episode 41 is due to go live. Any second, let's do it now. And then, it's Fish and Chip Friday, Terry. Yay! Take you through this procedure. Let's go to D10, a C63 AMG. It's already had 16 views. That's the early access for my patrons. Uh, 16 views, two comments, and four thumbs up. Jeremy Jones, five hours ago, says, Haha. My name is Michael Penn. That surprise at the end. Any second, we'd do a phone call. Sapphire Black BMW M2 is being dropped off. It's coming in from Wales. Next week's new car prep. Privacy, public, and save. 41 is live. Detailing AC63 AMG 507 again. M2's here. Ugh. End of day Friday, approaching quarter past seven. RS4 is left on triple charge, dropped off. Sapphire black BMW M2, dropped off. Obsidian black C63 AMG Mercedes. Bit of deja vu, literally just finished one of these. The last vlog episode was 41, which was the C63 507 edition. Phantom black, sapphire black, obsidian black. Still got some bits uh, to finalise and finish in the Audi, so I'm going to jump back on that over the weekend at some point and then record the after footage.
the M2 uh, Sapphire Black, new car prep, it's coming from South Wales. The vehicle's actually covered 2,000 miles now, so okay, not really new car prep territory anymore. The owner's done their best to uh, actually apply some protection in the early stages. As we can see, as you can see up here on the roof line, uh, chalky polish residues, wax residues in the gunnels and the channels, and the back of the sunroof here on the rubbers. And also at the time of purchase, the, oh, we've got some buffer trails going on here on the front lip. The dealership oh, who supplied the vehicle actually applied Altered Limb Life Shine, I believe. Now the owner wasn't happy about this, and subsequently they've applied their own form of protection. One thing I have found so far is a few sort of weird etchings here on the bonnet, and there. These will lift out easily enough with single stage polish. All being well. More polish residue on the roof line. Chase all that out later. But the worst mark I've found so far is on the lower portion of the driver's door. A bit of a scratch going on there. And the common areas on the top of the boot, uh, the loading bay of the bumper, horizontal lines, which you can see there. Look, this lip will actually receive a cut to remove these before refining. And then the whole car receives a single stage polish. Terry's outside of the wheels currently, engine bay treatments, full interior treatments, more to their ceramic paint protection. And then we're on to the mud, so time to polish. Today is Wednesday, no Terry today. We've got the M2 sat wearing two coats of, bear with me. M2 wearing two coats of Gion Mose. Very difficult to show the text on these bottles. Then topped with Phobic, that's this morning's job. That is Mose Plus, the certified only uh, accredited Gion paint protection package. This morning we've got a delivery come through. It's very well packaged. Let's talk about delivery tape. Aha. Uh, let's change you around a bit. So this lot's come in from Pyramid Carpet. I've seen this lot doing the rounds on social media. That's a nice bottle. Nice labels. Smart packaging. Uh, on Facebook adverts, on Twitter adverts, obviously because I'm searching for these goodies uh, and it's my sort of industry, the adverts are related to what you're searching for. So it's always going to be glass cleaner. Always going to be stuff that you're typically looking for. Back to you. Uh, but <laughs> once or twice I have seen it flash by an advert for Pyramid Car Care on Tinder. No, 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 yes, Pyramid Car Care. No, 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 yes, Pyramid Car Care. Ooh, little air fresheners. 
just had my air freshener in the car and die on me, so excellent timing. Final one. Premier car case sticker, a little note in the back. So what we've got, ultra shampoo. Following from that, I guess we will go citrus pre-wash, should have been first. Ultra shampoo. Tar and glue. Fallout remover. And then this is interesting, not seen as before, we have a glass cleaner. And then, glass armor. So it's a hydrophobic glass coating as such. Glass armor is a hydrophobic barrier for your vehicle's glass, helping in visibility and reducing contamination. Clean all glass before application, apply glass, apply to glass using the microphone. That sounds really easy, nice and easy. I'm looking forward to trying this on my own car, the BMW 3 Series. There is another crack in the windscreen which needs sorting, so when that's sorted, I'll jump on that, I'll have a go. I will uh, happily test. That's one thing about, it's, it's great receiving um, products from guys like Premier Car Care. Uh, to test, the trouble is it's time, it's time and vehicles, and it's of course, not wise uh, or not something I want to do testing this stuff on customers cars so my car gets washed once a month once a quarter maybe uh, so it's gonna be difficult to I don't know very much appreciate this stuff coming through I'll do what I can and perhaps in the future videos if I'm using ultra shampoo if I'm using the fallout if I'm using the glass armor I can jump back on it at a later date so this is pyramids uh glass coat ceramic tester i'm told other than their in-house <coughs> that's like a a vapor a nose like vix that knocks your head off okay well it's certainly not anything like i've tried before judging by the smell information on that uh i had rye from Pyramid Kaka. I have also enclosed a bottle of our soon to be released ceramic coating. You are the first person apart from ourselves to have a bottle of this. Oh, you lucky man. It is truly an incredible product and it helps to do justice to the hard work we have put in since starting the company. Uh, it is a 9H in hardness, extremely chemical resistant, UV resistant and extremely... Pyramid Kaka. As always, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. I hope all goes well with the venture. Next time I see you on Tinder, I will fly swipe yes. What actually happens if you swipe yes on an advert on Tinder? Pyramid Carca, go check them out. Links can be found down below. Back on once again. Kill the music. Sorry. Emily Sandy. There we go. In the time between phobic being applied 
the BMW, which is Dion's last ceramic paint protection part for Mose Plus. Obsidian black Mercedes AMG has been washed, decontaminated, blown dry. We played musical cars, the BM was over there, now it's over here. That's ready for polishing tomorrow. Uh, you may remember that one actually, it was the one that had the windscreen replaced following a detail back earlier this year, February time I think it was. And they scratched three of the doors, so much so all three doors needed painting. This is its return visit to rectify. I think I told you this earlier on, I forget what said. So for now, on the BM, all that's left is to go over the glass one final time and apply Gion Cure. Initial look over the Mercedes C63. Starting with the obvious, this is a door that's been painted. Colour match looks okay. Obsidian black metallic distribution across the panels. A deeper cluster of marks here at the bottom, there, and then the buffer trails and the mopping marks. All this being pretty easy to rectify. On the driver's side, again, this is the door that's been painted. Two on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. The flattening marks there. Considering it's fresh paint, it's pretty etched and not very pretty. It swirls aside, look how mottled it is there. Buffer trail. And then another piece that's been replaced is this gloss B pillar. You can see the buffer trails gone to town on that. So it's two doors and one door have had paint and trim, but then the rest of the car suffered because it's had the wash, it's had all the contact. And then we find the likes of lack of overspray. Lack of overspray on the top end of the rear door. A little cluster here under the tail light in the back. More overspray here on the tailgate. Lots of overspray on the back end in general. Difficult to pick up on the camera. More easy to see on the lip there. Look how patchy it is. Overspray on the pillars. Overspray on the bumper. Look at this. Masking mark there. All that mess in the glass is on the inside. Anyway, I've just been wiping down the exterior of the glass. Uh, there on the right hand side, ignoring the pillar, but here on the glass. And then, look at this, just rub that for me Terry. Overspray on the whole of the panel, it's disgusting. Here on the little gloss section at the back end, nice cluster and clumps there. So I think, first things first, stick the kettle on. I'll do that, Captain. And then we'll start some start some polishing. In other news, the M2 is looking gorgeous. One area I forgot to point out on the bonnet in the inspection walk around here on the there, induced marks, something gone. Uh, that won't refine it out with the single stage that it's put in for. So this is gonna need cutting and then refining like the wing. Progressing nicely with the polishing. This rear door has been cut and refined. 
Teriyaki. It's looking good. This has been cut, so you can see it's a bit smeary, hazy. It's ready for the refinement process. However, this section here underneath the mirror, you can see that's not been chased out quite yet. There's looking nice, but there you can see the remaining defects still in place, so that's gonna need additional cutting before final refinements. Exhaust, five minutes later, speak and spam. In terms of glass care, this is another fantastic product. This is the Rag Company Navy Waffle Weave Towel. Fantastic for whipping up the glass residues. Message for Mr. Ride Tombs from Pyramid Car Care. Sir, you have created an excellent glass cleaner. I've just updated my Instagram to alert the world of said fabulous product. Uh, and very much so. Smells pretty fresh, a citrus fresh scent and whizzed around the Merc in no time at all. Certainly will be one that I restock the glass cupboard with when this 500 mil runs out. Thanks again. The great communicator use two sticks to make it in the nature. Not done this in a while. Busy week, busy vlog. I've no idea how things are going to turn out. I've no idea where things are at. There's the RS4, you've seen the M2 and the C63 sat behind me. C63's had the restoration on the three doors that have been painted. It's had a single stage polish elsewhere. It's had a reprotection. It's been ceramic coated on the fresh on the fresh doors and then a top up elsewhere to keep it all sort of as one. It's quarter past six. Um, both vehicles, the Audi is through next door. Both vehicles are going tomorrow. I'll do what I can to get some exterior footage if it's a fine, bright day. Just leaves me to thank you for the kind support, the continued support on the various media platforms. 
Uh, be sure to find us on Instagram and on Facebook and like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for plenty more videos to come. Yeah, because of the job you're doing. Yeah. But obviously you can only do work with what you've got. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've got to just 